Hello friends, how are you? Hope you're well. Welcome to Reads and Eats. I'm Fiona. I'm really glad you've come by today to, to visit with me. I hope you're going to enjoy this video. It's my weekend kind of reading plans and weekly wrap up. So, um, but yeah, I hope you've had a good week. Mine's been nice. It's been, it's been quiet. It has been quiet. Um, just cluttered about the house, which has been good. I, I, I was out with my other half the other the other afternoon that was that was nice um it was quite funny went into went into a, a shopping a strip shopping mall near well 40 40 minutes away um and we ended up in waterstones for a cuppa and he's like no you're not allowed to buy anything blinkers on i'm buying you blinkers and buying you about buying you about blindfold you're not allowed to get any more books and i'm like that'll never work never ever work and we went for a coffee and I handed over my green card to went, oh, that's you got, you know, um, your next full card. So that she got, you know, £10 on your card. I'm like, oh, that's fine. So my other half said, how much do you have on it? I'm not naming them. I, tell, I told him, like, what? A whole lot to spend on books? I'm like, yes. And it was like when I was talking to one of the girls that I kind of got to know. And she's like, I think that once you reach a certain amount on your your green card as a, a thank you or as a, you know, a wee prize, you should actually get a new set of Ikea bookshelves. And I was like, that'd be great. I said, but I need a room of requirement because my bookshelves are groaning. Um, but it will never, ever stop me buying books. And, you know, and no, he will not stop me buying books. He's not that... He's not that type of person, you know, it's just, a, it's, it's a joke. It's like, I sort of say to him, you know, when we're going to Marks and Spencer's, no, you don't need anything else. Um, you know, it's, it's just kind of like one of those joke things between us. Uh, so that's fine, but no, he will never stop me buying books. Reading wise, it's been a, not a bad week. Um, I did finish, wait till you see this. Three wedding, three holidays and a wedding by Uzma. Jaludin and Marissa Stapley. Now, okay, I am not one who normally tabs books, underlines some books, writes some books. I did when I was at university because university textbooks, yes, the, but they were mine, not library books. But I don't normally do that. Look at that. Look at all those tabs. I'm not going to say much about this book because I'm going. To, I'm using it as my book and a bake for this month. So you're going to have to wait till next week to find out what I bake because of this. But yeah, I just wanted to show you. I started tabbing. Hee <laughs> hee. What I'm going to do with all these tabs? I don't know. So, so people who do tab, etc. Please let me know. What do you do with all of them? Do you write down all the bits that you that you've tabbed, or you know? Because now that I've done it, I don't know what to do with them. So I would love some. I would love some help, please. So if anybody wishes to give me an in-depth guide to what I do with tabbing, I would love that. So yeah, but I really enjoyed this one. I'm not going to tell you what I star rated it either. You're just going to have to wait till next week. I then read on my Kindle, Beaches, Bungalows, and Burglies by Tonya Capis. This is the first book in the Campers and Criminals series. I read this as a buddy read with Amanda from Amanda Reads. We are probably going to do a live at some point, so as again, I'm not going to say much about it. I gave this one 3 out of 5. You'll find out my thoughts more in in the live show when we do it, but yeah. Will I be, at the moment, will I be continuing with the series? Nah. Um, it's okay, but... So, more thoughts on that one later on. Then I picked up, as my physical book, Gave from China at the Shally School by Eleanor M. Brent Dyer. This is book number 18. Yes, I've read this book before, but I've read it. I had an unabridged co I had an abridged copy. I'm now reading the unabridged copy, which is mine as well. And I'm really, really enjoying it. It you know, it's it's amazing how much you miss. Hold on a minute. So yes, it is amazing how much you kind of miss of the story with it with an abridged version to the unabridged i'm really really enjoying this um 
I'd forgot, I remembered bits of it, but not all of it. So I'm thoroughly enjoying rereading this. I was going to keep it for middle grade May, but then I thought, I want to read it now, so I'll read it now. And then I'm also, I also picked up Wild Irish Heart by Trisha O'Malley. It's been on my Kindle for, for a while and I decided, right, I'm just going to pick it up and I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. It's, uh, it's a fun read. It's like found family, becoming your own person story, um, embracing the skills that you have also. So yeah, I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, it's, that, it's the first book in a series, so potentially I will be carrying on with it, but not at the moment. You know, once I've finished it, I will not be, sort of, shall we say, binge reading the series. One thing I did do this week was I looked through all the Kindle books that I have um, or have, yeah, I have my Kindle and sort of had a look to see what they're all about and make decisions as to whether did I want to read them, did I not want to read them, um, did they, or, you know, did they still appeal to me? Excuse me, and I, I think I managed to get, uh, I did un, unhaul quite a number of, I don't mind because I actually, there were like books that I'd got in Bookbub, and I thought, oh yeah, that sounds good, that sounds good, and it's like, I'm like, no, I don't want to do that one anymore, so I think I've got it down to about 80 odd, which is fine, that's a copable amount, it was something, it was like something like 120 odd, 130 odd, and I was like, no, I just can't, I can't cope with that. Um, at the moment, I would love to get more. I mean, as you know, my goal is to read more off my Kindle this year. Um, I would like to get quite a bit more read off my Kindle before I go away for this, go away in my summer holidays, so I can put other, maybe some other books on there. Um, but yeah, I just think that. In many ways, life, life for me, I just realise life is short, and you. You know, yeah, there are so many books you want to read, but actually read, read definitely read the books you want to read. And, you know, if you've had it in your Kindle and you're like, now going, nah, not really. Just, for me, it's just week it away. Uh, that's what, that's what I'm going to be doing. I have got a pile of physical books up on my, up on top of my wardrobe. That's my physical TBR. And... All of them, I think, at the moment, I want, I do want to read. There's one that I'm a question mark on, but hey, well, it was one I started and I soft DNF'd it, and we'll, we'll see what happens when I pick it up for the second time. And if I still don't get into it, then it will go to a new home. Um, so that's kind of all the book news. Anything else I can tell you? Um. No, I don't think there's any other news actually. Uh, Weather-wise, it's been mixed week. We've had some lovely, we had once really gorgeous sunny day, um, but I was actually too tired to go out and sit outside. I could have probably got out and sat out the front and read, but I was just like, no, nah, can't be, can't be gassed. Um, oh, I know I said I would let you see my, my cardigan once it's finished. It is sewn together and yesterday did the ribbing in the bottom and the ribbing around the, or the, the, the bit around the front. Um, I'm going to rip part of it out again. Um, my sleeve, the sleeves are too, are way too big. Like they're baggy, baggy and they're like off the end of my hand. I don't know what went wrong there. Um, so I'm going to redo them. If you can remember kind of Mickey Mouse and the Saucer's Apprentice with the, the gown that was like the hands, that's what it looks like. Um, so I'm going to rip the sleeves back out. Um, that's what I'm going to do once I get this video up. I'm going to rip the sleeves out and start them again and probably go down a size I would think in the sleeves because I'm, I don't have, I'm not big in the, the arms. Um, so I think I can go down at least one size um, to make the sleeves better, look better and fit better. But hopefully by this week, this time next week I may, may model it for you. You never know. Wouldn't that be fun? Anyway, I am waffling, guys. You you do realise that, don't you? Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. 
on your way down to chat with me in the comments because you know I love chatting with your comments so please tell me what are you what have you been reading what are you reading and what are your plans for the weekend but on your way down there if you haven't already hit that subscribe button it would be really nice to keep my channel growing I know I've got some new members so hello thank you very very much I really appreciate you subscribing um but yeah it would be nice to have some more I I know I keep saying I'm thinking of doing a live part of me scared to do it it's like I don't be sitting here like fee name it, you know, so you never know next week I may just bite the bullet but what I will do is I will probably leave a thing, some a note down in my discord that I'm going to do it um, and I'll probably pop on to a couple of other discord group, groups that I'm a member of and say that I'm going to do it but yeah, if you, if you would like me to do it alive let me know down in the channel down in the comments so that i know i'm not going to be on my own um, but until my next video friends stay safe happy reading bye